Chefers, welcome back, Chef Kimberly, here with my good friend and uh, co-worker, uh, Erica. I almost, call, I almost called her a chef. Well, <laughs> I can be a chef in your um, audience. Yes, so. she's my sous chef today. <laughs> Wonderful, and today we are here at one of our dear friend and clients, Bigwood Construction's personal home out in Rancho Mirage, and we have an all-star that we wanna share with you. It's the Mila Speed Oven. Very exciting technology yes. we haven't had a chance to play with. No. So what are we cooking today? So today we're gonna be doing a Cornish game hen. We're gonna stuff that with some Italian sausage, chicken Italian sausage, and then it's gonna have this beautiful glaze on top of it. We're also gonna have some cipollini onions, some parsnips, some carrots, all cooking at once in there. Um, and then we're gonna use the auto roast on there, so I'm super excited to talk about that once we get into that. And we have some risotto as well that we're doing a barley risotto. I'm kind of bringing in the fall, you know. It's right around the corner. Flavors, <laughs> it's really hot out Outside, but it's okay, we're gonna be sweating while we eat this ten. <laughs> this ten. It's all good. Um, so Erica, if you, let's see, what, what do I want you to do today? I think I'm gonna have you stuff the head if you don't mind, but I'm gonna salt and pepper it first. Okay, great. So today with the speed oven, we're gonna be using the auto roast mode. So what that's gonna do is it's going to basically seal this hen up. It's gonna roast it on the outside, kind of lock in all those juices. It's gonna use a really high temperature and then it's gonna drop to whatever temperature you set it. I'm gonna bake it at 375, which is you know the normal temperature for chicken or hen. And then we're also gonna be using the probe, which I love. I think it's like, you have to, if you're nervous about cooking chicken or anything, you don't wanna mess it up, use yeah. your probe. Use well, that's your probe. what I'm excited for today. I've never cooked with a probe. It's always intimidated me, but I know <laughs> it is such a resource. It is. When it comes to poultry or anything, you may be you yeah, know, you're scared walking. to get people sick. We don't want to like, we don't want to get anyone sick, okay? <laughs> um, and the cool thing about this oven is we're going to be using a little bit. So it's a combination. So what the speed oven is, is a combi, right? So it has a regular convection oven. You can use it as a microwave. You want to just pop some popcorn or you could do it together. So what that does is it's going to cut down your cooking time like 30%, up Absolutely. to 30%, which I, I always tell my clients, like if you're looking for something, if you have tons of kids at home yeah. and you're always constantly cooking for them you want something to kind of speed up your dinner process or lunch this is a great oven to have and it's not gonna kind of it's not gonna mess up the food you know people always think no. like microwaves it's gonna dry out the food there's gonna be taken away from the nutrients you're not giving any of that up well the great thing about a speed oven is it uses so many elements it has mm -hmm. a broiler it has convection it, does. it has a hidden bake element and it also has the microwave mm -hmm. and it brings all of those together to make magic yeah. In the oven. Yeah, you just have to <laughs> put some salt and pepper on some stuff and let your oven do all the work. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hand you over some gloves. What we're gonna Please. do is we're gonna stuff this hen. So what I did, I just took some um, chicken sausage and I cooked it down with a little bit of parsley. I did an egg in there, some breadcrumbs, um, salt and pepper, super simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and Throw it in there. <laughs> you make it sound so simple. I know, right? <laughs> I've been doing this for a while. All right. This brings back Thanksgiving memories. Right. That's what I'm telling me to you. We're getting into that fall okay. kind of. Here we so, go. So yeah, just go ahead and put some in there. Is so there... I cleaned it out. There's um, nothing in there. No, no, no hidden. No, heart, no hearts or gizzards <laughs> or anything. <laughs> We're gonna, uh, we're gonna how do a little bit do more, want just okay. a little bit where it's showing on the outside. Okay. Kind of, once that gets all nice and toasty, you're gonna see a little stuffing coming out. And that's gonna go on top of the risotto. We're also going to make a sauce with all of the drippings at the bottom and everything's Ooh. gonna be done in the oven. We're just gonna kind of leave it in there, let it cook down. Mila, come into the rescue yes. with a speed oven. Yes. <laughs> okay, so what we're okay. gonna do is I'm gonna grab this glass tray. And the great thing about the M-Touch is it has an intuitive control. So it's very similar to an iPhone or a lot of the smart devices that we use today. Very easy to navigate. It's like training wheels for your oven. Yes. They also have Sensortronic and Direct Select. Each one has different values in terms of its engagement. One's more of like an ATM, it has push buttons, mm. and one's more nostalgic, a dial that you can yes. play with. So depending on your level of engagement, you can choose the display that you wanna yeah. play Yeah, M-Touch is definitely more of like the iPhone kind of tech swiping, if you're so, I know now everyone's so used yeah. to that, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you could go ahead and put that right okay. here. So each M-Touch oven comes with two glass trays and then a wire rack. So with the wire rack, you, you don't ever want to put anything straight at the bottom of your oven. You can use the wire rack for anything that's microwave or oven safe. Um, of course, if you're using the microwave, do not use any metal. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd just mention that. I know we all know, but we got to kind of get remind each other. So, yeah. all right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on the glass oven. We're going to go ahead and stick this in the M. 
Wonderful. Touch up in. So I'm going into my operating modes and there's a few operating modes here. There's convection bake, convection roast, like I said, microwave, if you wanted just to heat something up. Um, there's even operating modes without the convection on. I'm telling you, you could do like anything on here, but today we are going to do the auto roast. So combi auto roast. And you could choose the levels of power as far as the microwave power. I'm gonna go ahead and do two. You never need really more than two when you're doing like a chicken. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this at 375. So what I'm telling the ovens, after it does the auto roast, I want it to go down to 375. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna put a duration cause I'm gonna use the probe. So once I inserted the probe, there's showing me this little function where I could set the core temperature. So I'm gonna do 165. So, and that's um, the, you know, the proper temperature for chicken or anything like that. And you could always look that up online if you have any questions. So it automatically knows to go from sear to like- To down to 375, yeah. So once it oh. does the searing, um, it, it's searing process, it's gonna basically go back to 375, it's gonna finish the cooking process, you don't have to worry about it because you have your probe in, yeah. so you can like sit back, watch some TV. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do this, I'm gonna give you a bowl. These we're just gonna keep them simple, we're gonna toss in some salt and pepper, there's gonna be butter on the bottom of that glass tray, so that's gonna give it a lot of flavor. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these in half because they're a little larger than the carrots. I'll go ahead and put in here. Perfect. And then I'll have you toss them with a little oil. Fabulous. All right, so here is some olive oil. All right. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of salt and pepper. It's gonna have some of that salt from the chicken, so I don't wanna put too much pepper. And then I'll have you toss that. Do you want a spoon? Sure. Get your hands dirty. <laughs> I mean, they've already been in a, in a game today, so... <laughs> I don't think you're too worried about getting dirty <laughs> yeah. at this point. Get a nice toss. The cool thing is, like, since we're doing, if you're doing, like, a whole chicken or something, um, if you're not ready for dinner, you actually could keep it warm in your oven, or you could reheat it in there as well. Yeah, that is very true. So mm -hmm. if you're having fun, entertaining, you guys aren't ready to quite eat just yet, it can actually hold that you know, whatever you're cooking, yeah. ready to go when you guys are ready. So there's a duration, there's like a ready at, start at, which is pretty cool. And all of the um, Mila ovens have this. So what you could do is either set a duration, meaning I want something to cook for 15 minutes, or you could set a duration and then let your oven know that you want it to be done at six o'clock. So say I'm putting in rice and it takes like 15 minutes. I let the oven know this is gonna take 15 minutes, but I want it to be ready at six. So at 5.45, your oven will go ahead and start on its own and it's gonna be ready at six. So that's a cool feature ready to, to have. Go. Yeah. yeah, especially like if you're doing something on the stove and you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna serve everyone like at six o'clock. I wanna make sure my rice is done exactly at the same time as like my salmon or something yeah. that I'm like searing on there um, and then there's a uh, start at two so if you wanted it to start at six o'clock you could also set at that so I mean I mean these ovens do everything for you honestly <laughs> like it pretty much does the cooking for yeah. you <laughs> does everything but pour me a glass of wine uh, yeah well you could you could <laughs> get nice. yeah. you get a coffee machine and make your coffee oh well, there you go I like the way you think okay so we're gonna go ahead and wait on that and then we're gonna add that in there okay great Our butter is starting to smell nutty, so I think it's time to add our veggies. Do you want to go ahead and add that yes, in there? Yes, absolutely. I'll come with you. you trust me. Okay, <laughs> I, I <do>. like it. <laughs> oh, and this has the contour handle. Yes. I love that. Okay, so we're just... It's good for us with carpal tunnel. <laughs> I know. It's very aerodynamic. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. It's Chef Kim's with... fall preview. Yeah, fall preview. <laughs> So Erica, while that's cooking, I think it's gonna take about 30 minutes to cook um, with the pro, yeah, about 30 minutes. And then once it starts getting closer to the time, instead of showing you what temperature it is, it actually gives you like minutes. So it'll be like 10 minutes left, five minutes left. Um, so while that's going, we're gonna get started on a risotto. Okay. So this is a barley risotto that has leeks in it, some white wine, the typical risotto ingredients. And then at the end, we're gonna do some Parmesan cheese, of course, cause you can't have risotto without cheese. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we're gonna chop up some chives and some parsley and just toss everything together and that's gonna go really nicely under our hen with our carrots it's gonna look beautiful okay erica so we got done with our risotto on the stove and now our chicken our hen is ready to come out of the oven i'm gonna go ahead and pull that out perfect i can't wait to see her 
<laughs> Actually, I can't wait to eat Did her. Did we give her a name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to name her if I'm an eater. <laughs> That's the rule, right? So you see that nice stuffing on there. Yeah. Nice color. And then we're going to go ahead and remove this and the veggies. <gasps> wow. Oh my gosh. Mm. Got a nice little browning on It's like this. she's presented, ready to, yeah. <laughs> ready for us to dive in. <laughs> okay, it's officially fall. It is, right? It smells like fall. This like honestly it's fall. reminds me of it's fall. fall. <laughs> you can see like we didn't lose any of the moisture. There's so much moisture on here. Okay, so what we're gonna do with these juices, we're gonna go ahead and add our broth okay. and lemon juice. Ooh. And then we're gonna go ahead and reduce that in the oven. So I'm gonna okay. go ahead and take it back with me. So this is gonna kind of create like this nice little glaze we could pour on top. Oh my gosh, you're just layering, layering flavors. Layers. Yes. yes, I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on to broil. So I just want it to reduce. So we're gonna go under operating mode, kind of swing all the way to the right, go to maxi broil on level three. And then we're just gonna let that go. It's about eight minutes cooking time. Does level three mean the level that the tray's in the oven? Or? No, it, there's, so there's level one, two, and three with broil, um, three being the highest, two being okay. medium, and one being the lowest. Okay, so I should probably start with one and go from there. Yes, okay. it's very powerful. <laughs> you it's know an, what you're doing. Yeah, it's an open phase broiler, so okay. it's super powerful. I can't tell you how many times I've accidentally burned something in the oven. <laughs> uh, but if you use it wisely, it works great. Wonderful, <laughs> good. So let's give it eight minutes and come back. Okay, well our sauce is nice and ready. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that oh. out. Feeling, this nice hen's feeling saucy. Isn't it nice when you don't have to do anything on the stove? Yes, it's all done in one place. Easy to clean, easy to maintain. And I have this little strainer here. I'm just gonna strain all those bits off. There you go. Set this aside. Don't want you to burn yourself. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and bring our risotto over. There you go. So see how we have this nice little sauce we could pour over? All done at this, no, no extra pans, no extra pots. <laughs> Give that a stir. Mm, that looks so good. So perfect and it's just so creamy. <laughs> it's so creamy. <laughs> I'm just like drooling over here. Be careful. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is go ahead and plate this. All right, so I have a nice little round plate here. So you can serve this like family style or I could eat that by myself. <laughs> just one little plate for myself. Look at this. Wow. Mm, uh, look amazing? I love that consistency. All that cheese. Well, it helps. <laughs> All that yeah. cheese and butter helps. <laughs> so it has just simple, really it's just leeks in there, some salt and pepper, some wine. And barley, I'm so excited. Yes. I've never heard of barley risotto. I think it's gonna look beautiful with this hen. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add our hen on top. Did you pick a name for her? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, how about Chick? Chick, <laughs> that's a good one. So I'm just gonna grab some carrots. Just kind of place some here. Carrots and parsnip. You can plate this however you like at home. Do you home. have a degree in art as well? I Maybe. do actually. <laughs> <laughs> I used to draw, I think I draw like three different animals like a monkey I could draw a puppy that's about it that's, that's it. as okay. much as my art goes that's two more animals than me so <laughs> okay so now we've got a wipe wow. our plate have some greens we can add on there can you imagine plating this and giving this to your family I mean right you'll have a ton of investors for your restaurant whenever <laughs> this is gorgeous it's a perfect little meal like a Friday night kind yeah. of special meal just add some greens on here to brighten it up. And there you have it. Wow. Okay, so. So we have our <laughs> Cornish game hen stuffed with some sausage. I would say, when, <laughs> our when do we barley, eat? Our, right, <laughs> our barley risotto. Okay. Um, I really enjoyed it today. I mean, how do you feel about the speed oven? From I someone actually, as a consumer, not a chef. 
I hear you. And one of those things is you hear speed oven. What is a speed oven? What exactly does it do? It's not just a microwave with convection. It is actually a full on oven with mm. a broil, a bake element, as well as the training wheels to yes. guide you through creating restaurant like dishes in the comfort of your own home. It's really about lifestyle at this point, right? It really is. So. I mean, like I said, anyone who comes in, it's like, I don't really have too much time to cook. And I, you know, I want something that's going to make my life easier. Like this is the oven that you yeah. go with. Like it will cut it down 30%. I mean, you're not losing anything. Look at this. It's a beautiful meal we made. There's so much moisture still in it. It's not drying it out like a normal microwave. Yeah. And I think everyone has like that misconception. Absolutely. Um, I mean, like you said, you could proof in there if we want to bake some bread, we could dehydrate everything. It's pretty limitless. <laughs> it is. And I know our perch viewers don't like limits. So no. <laughs> here we are. This is it for you, this Mila Speed Oven. And I hope you get to try this at home. Erica, thank you for being my sous chef today. It's always fun having you with me. Oh you always gosh. have a blast. <laughs> Please keep inviting me back. This is so much fun. It's so cool to get my hands on the appliances with you and to get yes. them from an actual live lifestyle technical standpoint. So. Yeah. This is amazing. We are inside of a, a home that we did. I know, actually. <laughs> and a big thanks and shout out to Big Wood Builders for having us in their home and allowing us to cook on their Mila Speed Oven. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, I want to invite you viewers at home, please go to perch.com, find the nearest perch location near you. And if you want to learn more about the Mila Speed Oven, you're going to want to make an appointment with one of our sales consultants. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> This is one in a series of showcase videos that you can watch on our Perch YouTube channel.